A Fox 2 follow up now a dangerous fiery pursuit ending in two suspects surrendering, but now one of them is back out on the streets. That's all thanks to bail changes in Illinois. Fox 2's Callista Matrician joins us with details of the arrest and the pushback from local leadership. Drugs recovered and several charges pending, but that no cash bailout will only affect one of those offenders. It took the help of multiple counties and a canine to take two suspects who stole a vehicle in what's described as a strong armed robbery into custody. But just like that, 25 year old Samantha Hamelman is back out on the streets. Unless it is a specific enumerated offense, you have to actually um, make an application for the class of felony and then provide a second prong which is that that particular defendant poses a risk to the community at large. That's in part thanks to a new no cash bailout system that went into effect last week. Around 20 suspects released so far, but some aren't exactly on board. This office was one that sought to overturn uh, the passage of the act. Now though, there are additional hoops that prosecutors have to jump through in order to keep someone detained who ought to be detained. But what about the officers who work tirelessly to make an arrest just to see an offender back out on the street? We've had this individual that, you know, obviously uh, committed several violent crimes, robbery, uh, which is the worst, but that was in Missouri. Uh, but then also uh, aggravated fleeing and eluding and armed violence possibly. And also took police on a dangerous chase down 255 North in a stolen vehicle, not only with a lookalike handgun, but a substantial amount of methamphetamine. As for that 29 year old driver, Dakota Bowman. The driver of the vehicle was charged with four separate felonies. Something that according to police will hopefully keep him behind bars. Bowman will have his detention hearing come Wednesday, September 27th. As for Hamelman, she'll face her preliminary hearing come October 12th. Here in Monroe County, Calista Matrician, Fox 2 News.